Oke lah, dengarkan aja mereka yang bicara. At the time, I had played on Beat It, on Michael Jackson's record, and his album went to number one, and our album was number two. Our single was number one, his single was number two. Then he did that Pepsi commercial, he burned his hair, and he stayed at number one. <laughs> <laughs> selfish, and, and, selfish, man. <laughs> and, to this day, you know, the guys in the band still blame me for that album. <laughs> I was not going to number one. Is it's it your true? Fault. Is it true you didn't get paid to be on the Jackson? I did it as a favor, you know. So Michael yeah. Jackson rings up and says, Eddie, Eddie, you're the best guitarist in the world. Can you play on my song Beat It? It's a smash hit around the world. Well, and you get zero dollars. Well, I didn't ask for anything. Uh, it was about 20 minutes out of my life. Quincy had called me up and, and asked me if I wanted to do it. And the honest God truth, uh, uh, the, the band's policy was, you know, we don't do things outside of the band at the time. And uh, everybody's out of town, so I had no one to ask. <laughs> and I swear to God, I figured, who's going to know if I play on this Black Kids record? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the funniest thing of all was I, I actually rearranged the song. The section they wanted me to solo over it was just, you know, there's no chord changes mm -hmm. underneath it. So I had to rearrange the song. And then Michael came in and I said, oh, I hope you don't mind. I changed your song. And he listens and he goes, no, I, I really like that high fast stuff you do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>